everybody welcome back to the channel so today um, I'm going to show you just some new things that have been going on here since the last time that I made a video of me doing things and I apologize for the wind but uh, so I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to and what tractors I've bought and sold since the last time I've done a video um, I've been super busy lately with work and school and everything like that so any video that i posted was either me at a tractor pull or me um, with my drone so let me show you guys here what i got so i got rid of the ford 881 diesel and um i bought this 1940 farmall h um it's in pretty nice shape i bought it from berg implement the tractor salvage yard that i showed you guys a video of me going there one time and uh i didn't do too bad i paid twelve hundred dollars for it um it ran and drive when i got it um it's fairly straight tractor um let me squeeze through here um as you can see no dents in the hood or anything and for the most part the uh grill is fairly straight um like I said, I paid $1,200 for it, um, and I've done some modifications to it since then for pulling. I'm going to start tractor pulling with it. Um, I did rebuild the carburetor, and I put a uh, performance air cleaner on there. Got rid of the oil bath air cleaner that would stick up through there. Um, I took the hydraulics out. You can see up in there, there's no more belly pump. Um, and I put a weight bracket for the back out of a piece of 3 8 angle iron and then I bolted the draw bar rigid and when I bought the tractor um, I saw sitting on an old Farmall 300 was this front weight bracket and Berg wanted $50 for it so I bought that with it and stuck it on there and it fits great but uh, so the other tractor I bought was this 1938 Farmall F20 um, the reason I bought this tractor was because back in the day, the first tractor my great-grandfather bought on the farm was a F20. He upgraded from two horses to this tractor. And so I've always wanted one from hearing my great aunts and uncles and my grandpa talking about it. So I finally found one. Um, I paid $1,300 for it. It came out of a barn, a collector's barn. In Williamsport, Pennsylvania, which is about three and a half hours east of me. Um, the guy delivered it for me, included in the price, and I ended up, I sold the Ford 80, 881 to, pretty much to him. He was buying it for a pastor at his church. So um, I ended up getting this tractor plus an $800 check in exchange. I gave him the Ford tractor. But, uh, so I had the carburetor rebuilt by an international collector that I know. And, uh, another guy I know gave me this brand new, never been on a tractor intake and exhaust manifold. It came, I think he said from smart equipment back in the 1970s. So that's pretty cool. Well, I have a muffler for it. I just took it off to get it in the carport here. And, uh, yeah, um, so... Most guys I talked to said that this tractor is in all original condition, which I'll get it out here in the video and uh, show you guys it. And the other side, um, you know how you can't really make out F20 and you can't see the decal anymore. That's probably because that's the side that they filled up the gas with and eventually wore that off. But the other side, you can still see it very clearly. Um, so I'll get more into that later once I get it out and get it going. But uh, first thing is I'm going to put the battery back in this H. I converted it to 12 volt with an alternator, but I, I haven't been able to get it to charge properly. It'll charge intermittently, and I've rewired the whole thing and looked at diagrams and talked to people, and we can't figure it out, so I'm not sure. So I'm going to get the battery in, and then we'll get it fired up and moved, and we'll go from there. I had to put the battery on the charger last night. It kept going dead on me. Get in here. 
I'm not going to tighten the clamps just because I'm probably going to take it off anyways once we're done. So I'm just going to stick them on there, make sure they're tight. And they didn't come with a battery box, so I just run a bungee cord around the battery. Clip it back there. All right, give it a little bit of throttle. Pull the ignition switch out. I ended up having to put a uh, put a new starter switch in. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Seems to idle pretty nice. Get off and show you guys here. So there's a better view of the weight bracket that I built. Well, I come up with a design and had a weld shot make it. And you see he cut a plate, drilled two holes in it for me to bolt the draw bar rigid. Um, tractor set as narrow as possible. Um, that is good for pulling and also the trailer that I use. You don't want it much wider. Give you a better view of the front here. The front weight bracket. That's made out of half inch plate steel. That's never going to break. That's one of the reasons I wanted it. See, I went in, took the governor plate off. I turned the RPMs up a hair and you can see I broke a bolt off doing that, so I gotta get that drilled out and it's retapped. Um, redid the ignition system and put a new coil and went to the local uh, race shop and got some performance spark plug wires for it, which really helped the performance along with the hotter auto light plugs that I got. You can see the alternator up in there. Um, I rebuilt the starter myself, bought all the parts and did it, and it seems to work fine. Um, when I bought it, I had to change this front tire, or the, I'm sorry, the rear tire. And uh, it was a little bit of a pain to get the old one off. The old one was completely cracked. Com completely cracked all along the sidewall, and it was gonna blow if I ever tried to pull it. So I put that one on there, bought that one for 50 bucks. It's not terrible, but it holds up. Um, yeah, the PTO works. You can see there. Yeah, overall, it's not a bad tractor. I had to clean the fuel tank out and everything like that. Um, has an M&W throttle on it, not your regular notch throttle. Um, and the radiator leaked a little bit when I got it, so 
took it down to a radiator shop. And here, let me shut this off. I took it down to a radiator shop and he said it'd be $650 to record and it'd take him two months before he could get to it. So I brought it home and my grandpa and I, I'll show you. You can see it in there. See if the camera will focus on it. Maybe you won't. Yeah. If you see that shiny stuff in there, we ended up putting solder on it. Um, yeah, we put solder on it and it ended up holding and it's held for a good two weeks now. So that's good. Probably gonna buy a new radiator for it in the future. But uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys this tractor and now I think I'll show you the F20. So the F20 is a little bit different to start. You can't just get on it and go. So the first thing you wanna do is turn your gas on so it has time to get to the bowl. I run mine out the whole way till it stops. Um, the second thing they wanna do is oil the rockers up there. So I'll put you guys on my tripod and I'll walk you through the steps. All right, so I'm gonna oil the rockers. Always carry an oil can with me when you have Got a couple extra parts in here. Always carry an oil can with you. And there's two little cups up here. You're gonna to wanna to open them up Put about four squirts of oil in it. After you've done that, I grab my crank. You want to advance your timing. You want to push that lever down. Then I want to give it about half throttle. Then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to give it a full choke. And then I'm going to prime, I'm going to prime the cylinder, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it until I see gas squirt out of the bottom of the carburetor. Okay, you saw the gas come out of the carburetor. That means that it's primed and in the intake. So then, I move it to quarter choke. And normally it shouldn't take more than one or two turns to get this started, but it's a little bit cold, so we'll see. I almost had it. Try it again.
take it out here by the eighth and then we can talk about it a little bit. Put it in the third. Give it some throttle. Cut it off, you retard the spark. All right, so like I said, this is a 1938 Farmall F20. Um, it's kind of a neat, kind of a unique one. Um, it for a 38, it does have a hand or a foot clutch right here, but it does have hand brakes and. Um, the reason there's two brake levers instead of one is they were thinking that when the farmer was hooking up their belt pulley that they needed to have one over here so they could watch their belt pulley and work the brake at the same time. Um, another thing, it is a narrow tread. You can see how narrow the tread is compared to what a wide one would be. Um, the wide one, you'd probably have a good 10 inches or so in between the belt pulley and the final drive. Um, and uh, it's like I said it's in all original condition and you can see how I said about the decal still being there the original decal um, it does have some leaks and everything but that's to be expected when you have an 83 year old tractor um, anyways um, it still has the factory shutters which do work except the linkage up here broke there's a pin or something you can see right there broke out of there i'm gonna get that fixed and then the radiator has a leak which is why i had to put water in it it's leaking from right in there but uh, overall it's not a bad tractor it runs really good um i've also had guys tell me they think this could be the original tire and if not then a really early replacement tire for it um, and it does have the shield over the um, drive shaft there for the clutch back to transmission and I do have the shield that goes around the impulse coupling for the magneto it's right here but I had it off because I was adjusting the timing on it and so I never really put it back on but uh, yeah and there's bolt holes for the hood that are broke off in there that I got to drill and put in but other than that, it's a pretty nice tractor. Um, belt pulley leaks a little bit, which I was told all the belt pulleys leaked on these. Um, and I used it on the potato digger to dig some potatoes. I didn't get any film of that because I've been too much of a hurry to get stuff done. Otherwise I would have, but uh, yeah. So there's my 1938 F20. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not really a whole lot that uh, I can tell you guys right now, um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I know it's been a while since I did a video like this, so I thought I'd put one on here. Um, what a beautiful fall day it is today. So that's about it. So by now you guys should have noticed that I changed the name on my channel. Um, I did that because I started out with Ford tractors and I kind of got away from them. I wanted something a little bit different. And so I um, changed it to this because I wanted something a little more universal and uh, just something that made a little bit more sense for the channel. So I hope you guys like it. Um, leave comments what you think about it and uh, hope to see you for a lot further videos and more things to come. Thanks for watching. God bless and we'll talk to you guys later.